next. Uh, just all that work through the spring and the fall with the, with the new staff and to finally see it all come together today. How do you feel? Uh, it felt great. Um, each week we've been uh, improving pretty much, except uh, with the exception of last week, pro probably uh, kind of took a step back. It was good to come put it together today. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we can keep that going going forward. So. What did you talk about last week, taking a step back? Was that just like a little extra motivation saying, hey, we can't do that again? Or? Um, it's, I mean, anytime you take a step back, it's, it's a learning experience. It wasn't something we wanted to do, but obviously we didn't come out and execute, and they, uh, they smacked us pretty good. So uh, coming out this week, we were focused and ready to go. Uh, Try to put on a show for homecoming and uh, got that W, so it feels good. You and Quayshawn were just pushing around the line of scrimmage all day. Um, talk about how you guys played. Um, We'll watch the film again. Um, I don't know. It's it felt it felt pretty good out there, but uh, we'll see what happened on the film and uh, we'll learn from it and see what we did good and see what we didn't. Uh, we could improve on. So um, it felt pretty good out there though today. And uh, like I said, we'll see. Uh, Max, early in the third quarter, they they had, they had scored. You guys had to punt, and you got they you get that you got a sack on a first down play where you kind of wrestled Riley down. The crowd kind of got into it a little bit of that. Did you kind of see that as kind of get guys get getting going a little bit? Um, I, I don't know if it uh, it got us going. They scored another time after that. I remember a uh, pretty big play, um, but it did. Um, I feel like it did help to kind of get us going in the quarter because, uh, like you said, they did score pretty uh, quick on that first drive, and so uh, it felt good to to get a good drive stop right on that drive and uh, make some plays. Max, is there, you know, especially for homecoming, of course, but in the two home games that that you've had this year, do you feel like there's a different energy at least? When you play out there, I don't know how to uh, really define it, but I say that's that's a pretty good way to define it. Like, cause uh, we do want to protect the dome. Uh, being a great team starts with protecting your house, and we've been uh, we've been working on that. And obviously, we played a lot better when we've been at home. So uh, we got to keep doing that, and then uh, also put it together on the road coming up here. So this is a daunting task next week against Fresno State. Just how much confidence does this win give you guys going into that though? Uh, it's, I think it's good for the team uh, to see it come together, uh, see all the hard work we've been putting in uh, finally pay off on the field. Um, I think it's going to be good for them. Uh, we're going to go back, uh, work hard again this next week, and try to do the same thing next week, uh, go get that W. So, You guys only gave up three points in the first half. What was kind of the key uh, there in that first half? Um, just playing assignment sound football, really. Uh, anytime as a defense, if you can play assignment sound, execute, uh, get off blocks, you're going to play well and uh, not allow a whole lot of points. So I think that was a big thing for us coming out the gate. Um, second half, obviously, we didn't do as well with that, but we did enough to, to get the win. So that, that was good. Max, the uh, coach said you read the team at Bowen last night, kind of <laughs> talking about being tough, playing, you know, not, not giving up, keep going. Did that, that kind of get the team going a little bit, maybe? Uh, I think it did. Um, he said it last night, if that doesn't get you going, there's something wrong with you. So um, I, I know it did for me. I think it I probably got a lot of guys focused in knowing uh, that we had what it takes. Uh, we just got to go and, and do it, uh, put do it 60 minutes uh, out here on the field. So we just worked on that, and uh, it felt, I feel like it, it did help. We got us the right, mind, uh, right mindset. So, yeah. Was that in the team hotel? Uh, that was actually over here in the team room. Okay. That was uh, before we headed down to Lewis. Okay. First, you seem to be uh, getting more and more vocal and animated as the game went on. What was going through your head as the seconds ticked down to your first win of the season? Um, for me, it was just uh, we got to go make a stop to, to help us win this game because they started coming back there. And uh, we couldn't uh, just have long faces, uh, kind of be scared. We had to go attack it, make sure uh, we preserve the win instead of letting them come back and take it from us. So uh, that was kind of what was going through my head, uh, try to make sure that guys were amped up, ready to go, and, and go take it from them. Max, in the last couple of years, especially Idaho, you know, there's been a lot of close games and, and games that have kind of slipped away. For for this team, what does it mean to, to come out of here with, with a two-point win and being in a close game and being able to execute? I think it's a good experience, uh, especially for us as a team. Uh, a lot of guys are younger guys, too. Um, it's going to be a good experience going forward because you can kind of draw from that. Uh, in the next close game we have, you can, you can say, okay, we've been in this situation before. Uh, we know how to close it out now. So uh, I think it's big for us and it, it will help a lot going forward. Anything else for Max? Uh, you're, I mean, it's almost been a year since last uh, I don't win. Just kind of your feelings now that reflecting back on that. Um, it, it just feels great to win anytime you can get a win. So uh, I want to feel it again often uh, the rest of the season. So I'm going to keep working on that, but it, it feels great.